Hello and welcome to another Roblox tutorial. This video is the first video in a three-part series where I will be making a no-scope knife in Roblox Studio. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up the knife and create the knife tool in Roblox Studio. This whole tutorial series uses tools, local scripts, animations, animation events, remote events, server scripts, and tweening. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to stick around and watch the whole series. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into the knife setup. So the way I want my tool to work, my no scope knife, is you will have a tool, which is a knife model, in your hand, and when you click mouse button one or left mouse, or hold hold left mouse, the knife will like charge up with an animation, and depending on how long you hold it, will determine the hitbox of the knife when it flies from your hand and kills people. So what we're gonna do with this setup is we need to set up our tool and the actual knife projectile that we will be throwing so let's start with that so i have myself right here a few parts that somewhat resemble a knife it looks pretty bad i'm sure you guys can make something better but this is what i will be using so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight all of these parts you can either do it in explorer or in your workspace and click press Control g to group them and i'm just going to name this knife then I'm going to highlight all of the parts in my knife and go to Model, Create, Weld. And then if you want to make sure that everything is welded together, you can go to Model, Show Welds, and you can like draw them on top. And so here we go. I can see all my welds. My sword is welded together, or my knife is welded together. And the reason we're doing this is so it does not fall apart, but we do not want to anchor any of these parts. All of these parts should not be anchored, and actually, they should not be collidable either, so put set can collide to false. And this is because it'll be like our tool, and like you, you don't want it to interact. It's basically just visual, nothing else. So what we're going to do is we need to define which part we want our player to hold. So right now, my part, like this will be the handle for my knife, so let's just call this part handle. Make sure to name it with a capital H spelled exactly as I have because it'll be crucial when you are using it in your tool. So I'm going to highlight my model, press Control C, go into starter pack, click the plus arrow, and create a tool. And uh, I'm just going to name this tool knife. And then I'm going to hit Control shift v in the tool, which will paste my knife model inside of it. I'm going to take my handle, drag it from my knife model to my knife tool, and there we go. So, the reason we're doing this, and not just moving this model, is because we will we will work on this model in just a second to make it like our throwing knife. Because we're going to have to do something different, because we don't want our knife from our tool to be the one that's thrown visually. We want two separate things, and we will store this in server storage. But for right now, let's just test it out. Click play. If we hold our knife out, you can see we hold it out. And it's... It's the wrong direction. I guess we could fix that. Okay, so I fixed that real quick. And if your tool is not working, make sure all of your parts are welded. You can check by going into any of the parts, checking the weld constraint part 1, part 0. Because when you do the shortcut model create welds, it only creates welds of parts that are intersecting. So if your parts are any distance apart, they will not create welds. And also, make sure your, the name of your handle is correct. And it's right underneath the tool for the knife, not in the model, or else it will not work. So that is our knife tool model done. Now we have to work on our actual throwing knife model, because these are two separate things. And you may think it might be easier just to use this knife tool model, but we're going to do something different with this model. And that is, we're going to use... A technique that I showed in another one of my videos how to animate a model in Roblox Studio with this knife because we are going to use a tween service to animate it like we're throwing 
a 9. And the way we're going to do that is with how I showed in the video. So we're first going to say, let's just take the handle. Let's duplicate it. Then we can just scale it appropriately. And I'm actually going to make it transparent. There we go. And I'm just going to make it somewhat resemble the hitbox of my knife. And I'm going to name this the root. And actually, I did this sort of wrong because, let me just expand this real quick. We first want to check what is the front face of our part. So here's the front face. I went to surface, then to front surface. I clicked on it, and it's highlighted in yellow. So we want this front face to face the top of our sword because when we animate our model it will animate according to the front face of our root part so if it's facing the wrong direction the knife will look like it's flying in like a weird direction so just make sure the front face of your knife model your root in your knife model is facing upwards so let me just rescale this real quick and let me just drag this down and there we go so I'm going to go back into properties, set my root to anchored, then duplicate it, set this part to unanchored, name this part the base, and then go back into the root, click the plus arrow, create a motor 6D inside of the root, and set part 1 to the root, and part 0 to the root, I should say, and then part 1 to the base. And I'm going to highlight my base, highlight all other parts, except for the root and then go to model create weld and it should weld everything to the base everything to the root and then the base is then connected to the root but via motor 60 and if you don't know what any of this is i have a tutorial about animating a model this is just what we're doing and this animation model is strictly aesthetic i guess in some reasons but we don't want to our knife to teleport like we want it to actually look like it's being thrown because that just looks better, and it makes your game more polished. So, our knife model is now done. I'm going to take this model and put it in server storage, and we will use it a little bit later. So, next thing we're going to do is just a very simple thing. Go into replicated storage, click the plus arrow, create a remote event, and this remote event is going to be named knife throw. So, this is basically the setup done. We have our knife model set up. We have all of the welds and our motor 60 set up for the knife model and service storage. Our tool is set up. And that's about it for our setup. So in the next video, we will be creating the animation for our knife throw. And that's where this remote event is going to come in. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It kind of doesn't do anything without the other videos that will be coming in this series. But, I felt I needed to split it up into a few different parts because it, this is a very complex tool. And I don't want to make a super long video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you do, stay tuned for the next video where we use animations and animation events to make our knife throw animation. So, I hope you guys have a nice day. And goodbye.